his act stood out. It was a story about him being unique, because it stood out. It was about him being generous, that's why it stood out. And because of that, it went viral. And because it went viral, Hector Montoya will always have a legacy, mm -hmm. right? Because whatever gets posted on the internet stays with you, right, Facebook junkies? <laughs> Even if you forget the name of Hector Montoya, you'll always remember his action. The story of a nine-year-old giving up his PlayStation so others can own a fire alarm. Now, you know, I just kind of realized this about the Bible, but there is a lot of unnamed people in the Bible. They're unnamed, but their actions are told in stories, in verses, in chapters. One example that we'll look at today is that of the anointing of Jesus at Bethany. Now, this event is unique in that it is one of the few moments that are in all of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And what also makes this unique, that the person who is anointing him is unknown. In one Gospel, she is just labeled as a sinful woman. There's another gospel where she's named as Mary, of Mary and uh, Martha and uh, Lazarus, her uh, sister and brother. There's also a point in history where she was mistakenly identified as Mary Magdalene. But just like in the case of Hector Montoya, it isn't the name or the identity that stands out. It's the act that defines the person and it leaves a legacy. Now, if you open up your Bibles, or if we could put the target text up on the wall, we'll have it there for you. This is out of Mark 14, 3 to 9. If you got it, say amen. 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 All right. <laughs> While he, being Jesus, was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman, in some Gospels, a sinful woman, came with the alabaster jar of very expensive perfume made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume over Jesus' head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, in some Gospels, if it's Judas, why this waste of perfume? In my version, I actually say that out loud. It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Jesus said, leave her alone. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, and you can help them anytime you want, but you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Mm -hmm. Truly, I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, this is the sticking point here, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Mm. Now, I want to give you three points today, family. Three points that made this anonymous woman, well, she's not anonymous. Like I said, she was sinful, sinful, quotation marks. Made this woman a breakout star. Much like our young hero, Hector Montoya, this woman was destined to break out, only to turn around and spread out the good news. And the first thing that made her an immediate breakout star, just like any other major star in Hollywood, was the fact that she was unique. Point number one, break out. <coughs> Spread his and your uniqueness. Now, let me reread uh, Mark 14, 6 for you. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. What was the first thing that Jesus said about this woman when Judas objected to the anointing? Leave her be. Leave her alone. Let her exist as an individual. Do not bother her. And her single act of worship 